it's Sam back with another Creative Team video. Um, today I'm using the new Coco Vanilla Studio Bloom and Grow collection. Now I didn't buy much of it, I only bought the collection pack which has the 6x12 sticker pack in it, which we'll use in a bit. And then just all the different papers, which I absolutely love. I love Coco Vanilla Studio anyway, it's, it's one of my favourites. And I decided to to get the Bloom and Grow collection. So I'm just flicking through the the papers here. You get two of each paper. Um, some of them I've just cut up for this layout that I'm doing. So I'm just some of them you'll see twice. Some of them you won't. But I love this little bird one. That's just I've used this one. I'll show you in a minute. It's just lovely. So, and then we're back to, to some of the, uh, the other ones that you've just seen. Love, love, love this one. I love butterflies. They're my favorite, some of my favourites. So, and the dark blue flowers on the back is just divine. And then this is the one with the, with this on the back, which I really like. So, I decided to use the Bloom and Grow, Grow collection for this photo. Um, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll know that um, a couple of weeks ago, my niece and my nephew had their second little one called Jessie. So this is my um, great niece, Daisy, who's 10. And then this is little Jessie, who's just um, a couple of weeks old. And I thought that this collection was perfect for this photo. The colours match it and everything. So I'm going to use that photo today. So I've started off by cutting down um, the birdie paper down into A4. I had to think then for a minute, which is eight and a quarter crossed by 11 and three quarters. And I've drawn around the edge with one of my favorite pens, which is a, a Stablo 0.88. And I can't remember the color now what it's called it's dark okra i think or okra however you say it um but i've got two of these i i use it all the time so i've just gone around the edge using a ruler one of them just to give it a little bit of um detail and then i've just put my splatters on using the ranger distress spray stain in picket fence which is the white and it's like a chalky white it's quite nice so what I'm going to do is I've first is I've cut down a piece of the um, the heart paper and I think I, from right I cut it down four, to four four by four and I've just gently um, distressed the edges. So we're just going to stick that down. So I don't know because the paper is it's quite a bit thicker. It distresses really lovely, and I'm just going to pop that in the middle, like so. And then I'm going to take my photo. Now, I I tend to like to stick my photos down flat, and then lift everything up around it on um, foam dots. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stick my lovely little niece and nephew down. So, I'm getting them on this page. There you go. And I'm just going to tack it or stick it down just a little bit up from the bottom. But that won't matter. And I'll show you why in a moment. Now, because I haven't bought any embellishments per se um, for this collection, I fussy cutted. Fussy cutted? <laughs> Is that the right word? Fussy cutted? Fussy cut, even some flowers off the flower paper and I'm just going to put them like a border at the bottom which is why I wasn't too bothered about the photo not being right at the bottom so I'm going to use some foam dots and oh they almost become invisible so I'm just going to stick some foam dots on these now i love 
to go a bit mad with my foam dots. I don't like anything falling off, as you well know. So, and that's the same with my foam dots. I go a bit mad with them as well. I don't like anything falling off. So, let's just get on here what I can. I like these sheets of dots, actually. Got three different size dots on them, so you can... Okay, so that's that one done. I'm just gonna peel this all off. Ooh. Don't rip that flower off, Sam. That would look very good, would it? Okay. So these never come off quickly when you want them to, do they? Does everyone else have this problem? So normally I can get them off really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to stick that one along the bottom just there. And then I'm going to put more foam dots on that one. Ooh. And do exactly the same. So, let's get this done. So I'm using the bigger dots to cover more more ground on this one then I think I'm going to use a smaller one just to go on there because that's a little bit flimsier but that's one side and just going to peel those off like so and then oh don't drop it on there then i think i'm just going to tuck that under there i'm just going to stick that down like that too and i might end up putting a bit of glue or some little dots under those bits i don't and under that bit i don't quite know yet so so that's the flowery bit done now of course i have to put wax on there so i'm going to use let me just reach over and get these i'm going to use one of the 15 millimeter open rose wax seals and i'm going to use two of the um flowers that i made on video a few probably a few months ago now actually I just thought these would go really nice with this flower border down here. So I'm going to put those down a minute and I'm going to use my stick it all glue. There we go, I haven't stuck that bit down properly, so that's not good. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the back of this one. I think I'm going to put the little little rose I'm just going to tuck that in there I think I'll pop that there then the little white one the little white flower I think I'm going to do the same just pop a bit of glue there and I think I'm just going to tuck that there and stick that down and then the bigger rose I think I'm just going to pop that there. Okay. I'll just hold that down. There you go. It's blotted out around the edges, but that's absolutely fine. Now, I've used um, one of the stickers off the sticker sheet um, for my title. And I've just um, layered it on some of the paper, some of the cardstock, um, just to, to make it a little bit stiffer. And I'm just going to pop some foam dots on the back of that. Put some, some of the big ones on. off now I'm not quite sure where I want to put this so, oh, 
don't drop it on your layout, Sam. So do I just pop it there? I think that looks quite nice, actually. I think I'm going to pop it there. Okay. And I'm going to use, I want to use this captured sticker because I really like that. And just to give a little bit of focus to the top of the picture, I'm just going to stick that down there. I don't think I want to use any of the others. Oh, yes, I do. Oh, I know what I want to use. There's a lovely one here called Grow Together, and I'm going to use that. And I'm lucky because it's got the, um, the right colour heart on it as well. Now, where to stick that? Oh, so I don't want it over Jessie's head. That's not good. I might just pop it there, actually. Underneath the capture to grow together. And then what I've got, again, out of some of the cardstock is I've cut some of the um, butterflies out, some different ones. So I don't know where I want to put these, but I know I want to dot them around. Dot them around. <laughs> I think that might make a nice focal point there now again I, I don't just stick my butterflies in that down flat I do something a bit different so and you've probably seen me do this in other videos so I bend the wings up and I put foam dots on the back of the wings okay and then And you, I just put a little bit of glue on the body. And then I'm going to stick them down. And it's again, it's just to give a bit of dimension to your page. And so that they don't lay exactly flat. And I'm going to do the same with all three of these. So I'm going to bend the wings up. Pop a little dot. You don't need more than one dot on each wing, so there's no point. It, uh, one dot on each is enough. So I'm going to bend that again. And what I always do as well is I put the body down first and then the wings, because if you put the wings down first and then the body, the body just pops pops off the page so I always stick the body down first and then just pop the wings down and then that way the body sticks and the wings stay popped up which is what the way round you want it because you want to give the impression that they're flying okay so just bend that again There you go, and a little bit of glue. No. Go, and I'm gonna stick that one just there. Oh, see, told you if you if you've not got the body stuck down right, the wings just make it pop up. There you go. That's better. Okay, so just the journaling to go now. So what colour? This is always my dilemma. I think I'm going to use a little bit of black. I'm going to use a black pen. So, do I September? September 
sister. Daisy is going to be. And there you go. I don't normally journal on camera, but I thought I would today. And there you go. That's my layout using the new CVS Bloom and Grow collection and using my wax flowers and my wax seal rose on the layout too. I hope that's given you some ideas on how you can use this collection and how you can use um, your wax that you may have at home. And I'll see you next time.